Wow, shouts out to this guy for having the courage to call out one of Diddy's friends. Bruh, 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 we know you was at them Diddy party. We know you was there. We know you was at them Diddy party. As that was LeBron James not getting the warmest of welcomes at a Philadelphia Eagles football game last night. As the American people are finally waking up. And I think we're about to see Hollywood fully unraveled. As we are seeing the breakdown of the establishment as a lot of very powerful people within the Hollywood industry are absolutely in a major state of panic. Ellen DeGeneres already fled the country. LeBron James scrubbing his social media. But will it be enough as the internet never forgets, especially when it comes to clips like this? Hey, everybody know ain't no party like a Diddy party, so. Yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. As wait, hold up. What's going on here is now we're finding out the details of a lot of these Diddy parties, and they include a lot of people being drugged, a lot of people being incapacitated, and then finding themselves in a bed surrounded by celebrities doing really absolutely awful, horrible things to them. As we have to understand here, what's going on here is finally the unraveling of some of the most sinister, evil actions by some of the biggest and most influential people in our society. A lot of these people worship these celebrities, but now we're finding out, hey, hold on. These people don't deserve praise. These people don't deserve our support. These people don't deserve to have their names on our backs. FYI, if you do that, it's kind of weird, though. As the Diddy story is getting more complicated and weirder than ever, as Sean P. Diddy Combs and his legal team today is comparing himself to Donald Trump. As Diddy previously had this to say about the former president that now his legal team is comparing him to. White men like Trump need to be banished. That way of thinking is real dangerous. Mm -hmm. When you look at it, we don't have no choice. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You can say what you want about Biden. I, I, I can't say I love the pick either, but hey, we got to get... Well, that really didn't work out well for him as there are now also allegations of him being caught trying to contact witnesses during the open case against him as a lot of people are now speculating when he will uh, Epstein himself as his lawyers are arguing right now that he was able to contact a lot of his witnesses and victims of this potential crime that he's being accused of as they are specifically citing the United States versus Trump case surrounding January 6th that set a potential precedent on the matter of gag orders and being able to contact witnesses. This has many notions for bail have been denied for P. Diddy. As we have to understand here, there are a lot of very influential, powerful people implicated in all of this, not just LeBron James, as there's also reports of a potential influence campaign happening right now, as there are private investigators that are going to celebrities and journalists, as some are saying that they were being offered to be bought off in order to support P. Diddy, as others are talking about how this is a form of intimidation against any kind of real legitimate reporting on this larger issue. As even Elon Musk and Joe Rogan talked about how it's amazing how many Diddy party attendees were also supporters of Kamala Harris, as there was... A lot of them, including, of course, Beyonce, Leonardo DiCaprio, who, by the way, Diddy said was his uh, favorite guest at the Diddy parties. He likes some young, no surprise there. Jennifer Lopez, who spoke out against the alleged predatory dangers of Donald Trump as she literally dated Diddy the time that he was accused of literally taking advantage, abusing and hurting a 13-year-old girl. Usher, of course, a child who was essentially given to P. Diddy, was another person that got directly involved here. Martha Stewart, she's a criminal. LeBron James, Ellen DeGeneres, Cardi B, Taylor Swift, Ben Stiller, Oprah Winfrey, Madonna, Jay-Z. And the list goes on and on and on. As someone made this handy photo here highlighting all of these people hanging out with P. Diddy. As I think the LeBron James connection is absolutely worth looking into, as his endorsement of Kamala Harris had a lot of people kind of scratching their heads being like, wait, why are you really, why are you doing this? As a lot of people are speculating that there were larger extortionist pressures being put specifically on LeBron James, as it's important to note here that there were secret surveillance cameras and footage of all the P. Diddy white parties that were in his safe. Those videotapes, those hard drives were confiscated by the FBI. And just like the Jeffrey Epstein tapes that were also confiscated from his safe that were already labeled with the FBI stamps on them. Also, 
just uh, surprisingly were never kind of really looked into or investigated, and according to authorities, just went poof and went missing. Yeah, right. As let's be honest here, there is a high likelihood possibility here that LeBron James could have been at these parties, specifically in the back room, if you know what I mean, doing potential really weird, freaky stuff. And the federal authorities and intel agencies that loathe Donald Trump and don't like him so much came to him and probably were like, hey, look, we have option A here, or we have a check with your endorsement, and we're going to post some things for you on social media. What would you like to do here? As the actions from LeBron James afterwards do speak to that larger possibility unfolding here as he has announced that he is quitting social media due to, quote, negativity, as a lot of people aren't happy with him officially supporting Kamala Harris and releasing some very weird messaging against Donald Trump. As a lot of people saw the video that LeBron James posted about Donald Trump as disingenuous, as fake news, as lies and conjecture against him, and a lot of the American people weren't buying it. As overwhelmingly, the majority of Americans voted for Donald Trump. Those Americans are kind of pissed off at a lot of the celebrities, a lot of the big kind of endorsements, and a lot of the kind of disingenuous, corporatist, larger talking points, woke, liberal, leftist talking points that didn't resonate with the American public. So the American public, obviously, is going to respond negatively to people pandering and lying to them, which, in my opinion, LeBron James absolutely did. As, of course, his major attack was on Tony Hinchcliffe and a lot of other out-of-context clips that of course made it seem like Donald Trump said something or believed in something that he never did and instead of facing the reality of the situation that he put himself in he literally ran away from it on social media and that's why it's so spectacular to see people call him out in real time for this larger connection as of course he tried to stay away from public opinion but public opinion let him know hey we know you were at those parties we know what you did last summer and it's not the negativity that lebron james is trying to get rid of it's the truth as he announced quote and with that said i'll holla at y'all getting off social media for the time being y'all take care as this response from uh, john root uh, pretty much uh, represented the sentiment from a lot of the people, as he said, bro, you called Trump and his supporters more than half the country segregationist, racist, and Germans from the 1930s when you endorsed Kamala Harris. You are perpetrating the division and the hate that is tearing this country apart. Maybe look at yourself in the mirror before shaming others for negativity, hate, and divisiveness. As LeBron James was also a big supporter of BLM and larger other DEI woke initiatives that have absolutely failed, like his I Promise School, which cost taxpayers $8 million in Cleveland, Ohio. And the results of it were that no eighth grader was able to pass a state math exam in the past three years. All of this, as a lot of other people are commenting, that uh, also LeBron has a very difficult time at making it past uh, the first page of any single book. And I don't just mean to be dunking on this guy, but holy freaking cow, you made your own bed, especially by purporting some of the worst, horrible establishment-like policies to your fans, to your audience members, to the American people that have sowed division, hatred, pain, and suffering in this world. As I think it's fair to say now that we are living in an incredible moment where a lot of the videos that people have forgot about are finally being resurfaced. A lot of the connections are finally being made here, connecting individuals to larger endorsements, to larger scams, to larger kind of PR marketing endeavors that work against the American people. And they're saying, hey, I think we're seeing exactly what's finally going on here. And we had enough of this nonsense and insanity. And I think we're finally seeing the establishment kind of uh, finally take a step back from trying to influence and do all the horrible things that they've been doing to us for so long. As there's also a larger kind of uh, spiritual energetic aspect to a lot of this as well, as a lot of billionaires and celebrities believe that essentially they are gods on this earth and deserve special treatment and that they are, quote, above the law. Well, I think the reckoning is finally coming where we are having an equalizing of society and average fans in Philly games could literally bring your whole empire of lies down just by simply being able to speak words at you that will go viral that the entire world will see. As celebrities loved to be worshipped, as uh, more and more individuals are saying, hey, you know what? 
maybe these people aren't worth my time, attention. Maybe I shouldn't be putting these people at a pedestal. Maybe I should be concentrating and focusing on my life, my endeavors, my successes, rather than just watching someone at a stadium play sports balls. Maybe me rooting and cheering for someone is not the type of energy I want to specifically spend as I should be doing that for my children, for my family. And I should be active and engaged with what's happening in my real life here rather than investing it into this kind of Illuminati black magic distraction black cube device where I am watching people put balls in holes. That analogy could be used for, for many different things, by the way. And the demons and the evil forces out there understand that they only have as much influence and power over them with whatever we decide to give them. As this reckoning that we are seeing right now in mainline society of people finally waking up, of people finally seeing the truth of a lot of these situations, of people really seeing it for what it is, it is a kind of renaissance. It is a kind of beautiful time that I think is worth living in. And if you agree, share this video and more importantly, get a t-shirt on thebestpoliticalshirts.com. Our website is coming back. We're going to have a lot of great sales available to you as this is one sure way to actually start up the conversation as the shirts we have on there are pretty spectacular. And more importantly, they represent messages that cannot get censored on social media. We have a lot of spicy shirts that we cannot show you here on this particular broadcast that you can only exclusively see on the best politicalshirts.com. The shirt that I'm wearing right now is also a shirt that you could get exclusively on the bestpoliticalshirts.com. And uh, it, it truly is a fascinating way to meet like-minded individuals, to actually find people who have shared interests, who think the same way that you do. As building a community, building something larger outside of yourself is more important than ever. Stop focusing on the mindless boob tube entertainment. Stop focusing on, on sports. Start, start focusing about what's happening in your own neighborhood, your own community, and uh, getting a shirt with a very spicy political message on it, does that perfectly, and it allows people to say, hey, I like that idea. It also allows you to see people who are triggered by it and angry by it, but regardless, it won't be boring when you wear a t-shirt from thebestpoliticalshirts.com, as we're going to have a lot of really incredible designs out there for you very soon, all exclusively for all the sales coming up there. Support small business. Don't support all the large kind of conglomerates out there, since they are all connected to a lot of evil, sinister forces out there. The choice is yours, where you vote with your dollar. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys voting for me with your dollars, with your clicks, with your attention, which I am eternally grateful for. I love you guys. Stay tuned for more. We got another podcast episode coming out 6 p.m. Eastern later on today. Stay tuned for that and a lot more, all live exclusively here on youtube.com forward slash we are changed.